Hey, good people. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Kenyan American Home. And if this is the first time you're joining me, welcome, welcome. In, in Kenya, we say karibu, karibu. And, uh, you know, if this is the first time, make sure, you know, feel free to hit that subscribe button and uh, you'll get connected. You'll get connected to The Kenyan American Home and then hit that, hit that notification bell and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. So today I'm here to talk to you about an opportunity that is available for young women to pursue so if you're a young woman or if you uh, you know if you have a daughter who's a young woman and she's interested in stem and stem is science technology engineering and mathematics so if you have uh, a young woman that is interested in that today's program is a is a us based exchange program so you'll come to the us with a with a j1 visa uh and this program is, you know, so it's 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 pretty much it's by the U.S. Department of uh, U.S. Department of State, and its its main aim is to empower young women who are interested in pursuing STEM courses, you know, uh, to kind of help them, empower them, support them. Uh, so they're bringing you into the U.S. And this program is in partnership with Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech is a university in the U.S. And what they aim to do is they they're helping you pursue kind of a higher education or, or you know, kind of, you know, empowering you to pursue young women to pursue careers in uh, in STEM, in, in science, technology, engineering, and math. So uh, this program that is currently going on, so it's, it's already going on. And so you still have time though. You still have time and I'll walk you through what are the requirements and when do you have to apply by, uh, where do I go to apply? I will show you everything. I'm here to make sure that, hey, if you're there and this applies to you, uh, that you apply. And also, you know, you can spread this. Make sure you spread this to people. It's it's, it's an awesome way to come to the U.S., an awesome way to be empowered, uh, you know, through higher education, higher education to come and study. So without much further ado, let me go ahead and uh, and kind of you know kind of walk you through. So what they're doing. So in 2025, this is the they're, they're looking to bring in about 111, 111 young women from 37 participating countries. So uh, those so that's the U.S. and some countries. And I'll tell you you know which countries qualify for this, which countries qualify for this, and what is you know what does the program involve. What does the program involve? So let me go ahead and share with you my screen. Uh, and then I can walk you through this. And hopefully, hopefully this will be, you know, it'll be helpful to helpful to somebody. And uh, if you think this is helpful to someone that you know, please make sure, please share with them. So the program is called Tech Girls. Uh, it's kind of named that way because, you know, they're looking to, empower tech women tech girls all right so let me go ahead and share this and make sure that i can make it bigger let me make myself smaller so that i can so that you guys can see and uh yeah so yeah, so basically, so this is Tech Girls, and I'll you know I'll put the link I'll put the link in the video so that you can see Tech Girls is is an initiative of the U.S. Department of uh, State uh, Bureau of Education and Cultural Affairs, so uh, exchange program, and so they're looking to it's a it's a U.S. based program, it's a summer exchange program, so you're coming here with the J1, and uh, so if you're a young woman between the ages 15 and 17, this opportunity is available for you. And it, it kind of helps you, you know, pursue higher education. If you're interested in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, which is STEM. So like I told you, you know, it's looking to recruit about 111 young women participating in 13 uh, different uh, different countries. So this is kind of how the program is. So the, the, the core program is a 23 day experience in the US. So, and then you partner with Virginia, partner with Virginia Tech, uh, and they hold camps. So as a tech girl, you travel around, you know, travel to a city around the US. So you, you, you're going to Austin, Cincinnati, you'll be very close to me in Denver, uh, Detroit, Kansas City, or Seattle. 
So they kind of they want to immerse you in like they do they do like community immersion. So it's an exchange program. So essentially, they're bringing you here for an exchange. You know, for you to learn uh, things U.S. Things STEM U.S. So things uh, career wise, explore you know explore those programs. So all right. So let me jump on to because I know what you guys want to know is what are the requirements and you know how can I apply. So let's. Go ahead and jump to that, and you know eligibility. So what are what are what are the requirements for me to be eligible to pursue Tech Girls? All right, and and I'll share with you uh, at the you know at the if you look at the description of this video, I will put the link this link for this uh, application. That way you can go in and go in and apply. So this is the selection process. So. Uh, all the Tech Girls participants, they're selected uh, based on the eligibility requirements below. They have independent selection committees that, you know, uh, review these applications when you send them in. So there's for international semifinalists and there's also for U.S. semifinalists. So it's it's really, so they're, they're selecting people here in the U.S., but they're also selecting international people. So this is the 2025 program, which is you know currently open and underway. And for you to be eligible to apply, you have to be a citizen of one of the eligible countries. And you also have to be living in that country at the time of exchange, all right? So the countries uh, that in Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, Cameroon, Kenya, Nigeria, Rwanda, South Africa, and Zambia. And then uh, there's other countries in East Asia as listed there. There's some countries in Europe that are, you know, qualify. Some countries in Middle East and the northern part of Africa, uh, southern east, uh, southern and central Asia, the Western Hemisphere, and then obviously the U.S. So what they want is: Are you between the ages of 15 and 17 at the start of the program? So you have to be between the age of 15 at the, uh, you have to be either the age of, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. between the ages of 15 mm -hmm. at the start of the exchange program. So what, what they're essentially saying is they want you to be uh, born between July 13th, 2007 and July 12th, uh, 2010. So if you're born between those two dates, then you do qualify. If you're born between those two dates, you do qualify. And then uh, these are the other requirements that they want. They want you to demonstrate an advanced and, you know, advanced uh, advanced skills and serious interest in, uh, in STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, or math. And then, so you need, to, you need to show you that you intend to pursue a higher education in STEM. So uh, uh, any, any, you know, you intend to pursue any degree in science, technology, engineering, and math. You have to have strong English language. So uh, strong English uh, language skills, you exhibit maturity and flexibility. Uh, and, you know, just be self-driven, be self-driven. So they're looking at that. And you'll, so you'll be able to attend at least one additional semester of secondary school upon your return to your home country. So uh, they want you to come back and go back to, you know, go back to school. And then uh, after that, they want you, you know, they want you to be committed in completing a community-based program project upon your return to your home country. So you have to be, you have to be a citizen and a resident of that country. So you have to be a citizen and a resident of that country that you're so all those countries that are, you know, that I stated below, and then they they go on and they're, they're telling you that they prefer people who haven't been to the US. So they don't want people who've been to the US. So if you have limited or no prior experience in the US, this is for you. So this is a great opportunity for young girls to come to the US. It's a, it's, you know, it's a great program for you. Uh, it kind of sets you up really nicely to come and, you know, come, come experience the US, come exchange, uh, experience that, you know, that, uh, the experience of studying in the U.S. and and pursuing higher education in STEM, higher education in STEM courses. So, but they also tell you that if you have, you know, if you are a family member 
of a US embassy or consulate uh, employee, then you're not, uh, uh, and also you cannot be a family member of a leg legacy international staff. Uh, so legacy international. And then if you're a dual citizen uh, and you're living ab abroad, then you don't qualify, then you don't qualify. So they, I mean, they're telling you, they're, they're encouraging people with diverse backgrounds to, and skills to apply including you know including individuals who have uh, disabilities so if you have disabilities this also applies to you so uh when so what is what is what is the timeline for application so the 2025 uh application it opened on october 15th 2024 and it will close on december 6th 2024 at 12 p.m so uh, it is November 17th today, as I do this video. So that means you have about uh, 20 days or so, so about two and a half weeks to uh, complete the application. You have about two and a half weeks to complete the application, and then you'll be notified March 2025th if you've qualified if you've qualified and then to be able to apply it's as easy as hitting that apply button once you hit apply it'll take you through the process take you through the process and you know uh yeah all you just need to do is go to let me send you to this other page you go to tech so i want to click that apply it'll take you to here and then you just go to go to tech girls and then yeah start a new application and then voila, it'll take you through, you know, kind of walk you through uh, to, yeah, you can go through this information, just try and see what is, you know, uh, what's available out there, but it's a, it's a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity to make sure you read, you know, and consent to the terms and conditions, and then just continue. Yep, let's continue, put in your, you know, put in your, your email address, and then move on from there. So it's it's not a very long uh, application, but I would, you know, I would I would encourage you, I would encourage you to apply. And if you don't know anybody, if you know somebody who could benefit from this program, I would say, you know, share this information with them. Please do, please do share this information with them. Because it could be beneficial. We're beneficial to them. So just wanted to make sure you know that I presented this opportunity to you and to let you go. I don't want to keep you too much. I don't want to keep you too much. I just wanted to present this opportunity and hopefully somebody who, uh, whether it's you, you're a young woman, or if you have, if you know of any young women between those ages, between the ages of 15 and 17, uh, if you're their parents, their aunties, friends, or whoever, please make sure you pass this along. Yeah. I know I'm from Kenya, so I know my, and Kenya is qualified. You know, if you're from all those other countries, Cameroon and, uh, and you know, all those, all those other sub-Saharan countries, please make sure you share this information with people. We have about 20 days left. So again, I don't want to keep you too long. I just wanted to make sure I give you that information. And you just need to, you know, you know, it's, you just need to show as long as you have a desire to pursue STEM, as long as you have a desire to pursue STEM and you're willing to be involved in your community, you're involved in your community. Uh, and it's, you know, especially if you have a good story that, uh, that includes you uh, going and studying a STEM course, that way you can, you can be beneficial to your community. I, be, I believe that that will be really helpful. Good story always helps. A good story always helps. All right? Yeah? All right. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully somebody will be able to take this opportunity and run with it. Uh, just go to the website and there's there's a lot of testimonials about uh, the past. You'll hear, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll find all these stories that are out there about the, the alumni of the Tech Girls program, uh, you know, and their stories and kind of how they felt about the opportunity, how they felt about the opportunity. All right, all right, well, make sure you you know, make sure you hit that hit that like button, share this video, you know, comment, please share, 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 share widely. As long as you know anybody that is in, you know, one of those countries that is qualified, please do share. Please do share. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Yeah.
And again, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do subscribe. And then, yeah, and hit that, sub uh, that notification button and you get notified every time I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, oh, by the way, thank you so much to my members. Really do appreciate, really do appreciate you. And thank you for, you know, thank you for being members of uh, of this channel. I really appreciate, appreciate all the support that you, uh, that you offer me. Thank you so much. And yeah, hope you guys have a good, good, good rest of your day. And please apply, 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 apply. Until next time, peace. All right.